Hello everybody, it's me, Blueberry, and today we're going to be talking about everything about the Valentine's event. How to get velvet hearts, what you do with velvet hearts, how to get um, the Valentine's tokens, the horse coats, and I'm going to show you the horse coats. So let's get in. So first, let's talk about the horses. So this is the Heart Blanket Arabian. I named her Dove. I haven't finished her tax set yet. I'm trying to though. Um, and then I don't have the quarter horse, but I do have the thoroughbred. This is the rosy thoroughbred coat. She does have the rosy fade. My Arabian doesn't, but they're both wild coat. Oh, she's lazy. Ah, stop. Here's her stats. We caught her, or I caught her. Um, and then here's Dove's stats. I have the video catching her. The quarter horse, the lowest tier. Oh my gosh, what the heck? The lowest tier horse. I don't have yet somehow because that's usually what I get first. And um, there are burgundy horses. I can't remember the exact name, but there's like burgundy fjords, which I've seen a few of. I do have a screenshot. I found them in the market, but they were, like, really expensive. They are like, 500 Robux, and I didn't want to spend 500 Robux on a horse that I could find in the wild. So, I'll show you guys the screenshot. Okay, I guess I thought I, I, thought I had screenshots, but I don't. This is the quarter horse. And here's one of the burgundy horses. This is just off of uh, Wild Horse Island's wiki. So those pictures aren't mine. Um, now let's talk about how to get velvet hearts. So you're going to go to any island. I'm on Royal Island right now because this is where I found my Arabian. So but maybe I would try and look for another Arabian here since you unfortunately can't breed them. And once you're on an island, you're going to need a, you're the best harvester that you can get. It's fine if you have like a stone or a wooden, just the best harvester that you can get or your har or the harvester that you have. So I'm just going to mine this velvet heart rock and I get two velvet hearts. The best way to get velvet hearts is you are either going to need like a really fast horse like Daisy or Dove. Any Arabian or Thoroughbred that you've maxed out will work. What is that? Oh, that's a blue, that's a blue rum Pertreon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, one sec. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, anyways. <laughs> So the best ways to get velvet hearts are either you need a very fast, completely maxed out Arabian or Thoroughbred. I think Eccle Techies are fast. I recommend like Prism stats, like 82 speed, 99 stamina, and, oh wait, no, not Prism, Daisy. I meant to say Daisy. Um, no, I can't think. Oh. And so some Akultuckies have good stats, but not as good as Arabians. Thoroughbreds have typically have good stats. And I also recommend crafting Prismatic Tack. Um, Prism, the Daisy, has the best, um, fastest tack that you can make, like a barrel saddle. Gives you more stamina and speed. And same thing with her fancy dressage bridle. It gives you more stamina and agility. Those were the best ones. So she's really fast. And I like to go around an island just running around looking for them. With your best harvester. Or you sit around and wait for a... Velvet Heart Meteorite to spawn, which is pretty rare, but when it does, it takes forever, and you get a lot of Velvet Hearts, though, so 
I mean, you could do, but it's not, it's not a nice way to do. One sec. Okay, I'm just having a ton of luck. Uh, that's not really lucky, but I do like the Icelandics, so I try and catch them every time I see them. So, the those are the best two ways to get um, velvet hearts. But I recommend the first one. The, yeah, the first one. Or doing both. I do both because while you're looking for velvet hearts, I just keep the chat open. And whenever I see that one spawns, I reset and go to that island. Okay, now I'm going to talk about what to do with Velvet Hearts. So, you're going to want to go to Cupid Island. That's what it's called. Pretty sure it's called Cupid Island. You're going to want to go here. Oh, Sky, Li Sky Island, my bad. Uh, so, you're going to want to go here. And you're going to follow the sign that says to Cupid. You have anti-gravity, like on Lunar Island. Or you can just walk. There are little plastic, not plastic, but like clear things so you can't fall. Unless you go way out. And I've already turned in a few velvet hearts. But you can just click on him and say, do you want my velvet hearts? And if you give him 50, he will give you something i just got this roses head bow uh or head ribbon and i'm pretty sure i have more how many do i have um oh i have one oops <laughs> and now i'm gonna talk about valentine's tokens and the ways to get them and what you do with them so, much like all the other events, you have a specific and special event token. And for Valentine's Day, it's Valentine's Tokens, because it's Valentine's. And you can buy them. You can get 750 for 2,000 Robux. I don't know, or 700... 7,500, I can't speak today. I don't know if I would do that because it's much easier to just get them if you know the way. So one way is taking care of your horse. You get a lot for doing that. You just brush and boom. Oh, wait, hold on. And boom, I just got 33. Um, the next way is catching horses and harvesting materials, so including velvet hearts. So while you're getting velvet hearts, you can also get valentine's tokens. So as you can see, if I just mine this random rock, I got five and three, five valentine's tokens and three copper ore. And from catching horses, um, so you can also catch horses. I'm just gonna cut, catch this wild mustang for no reason. Okay, well I disconnected. So now I'm going to have to find a different horse, but luckily they're all over mainland. So I'm just going to catch this one really quick. As you can see, I just got six tokens for catching this Mustang. And the last way is codes. But unfortunately, I don't have any codes. But you can get tokens from codes if you can find codes. That's probably a really easy way if you can find them. So I recommend just getting the materials because you are also, you're also getting the velvet hearts if you decide to go look for velvet hearts. But you need a fast horse. Well, you don't need a fast horse. It just makes it easier. Oh, I almost completely forgot about doing races. Here, hold on. Let me just do Cupid's Loop. Guys, guys, guys. I was doing the Cupid's Loop. Um, and you know what I just seen? I see, there it is. That's the last one I need. It's a sparkly pink quarter horse. Oh my gosh. Look at it. I caught it. Okay, so I was going to do the race, but I don't feel like it because I realized that takes longer than I thought. But you do get um, Valentine's tokens from that. No, I mean Velvet Hearts.
You get velvet hearts from doing that. You might get Valentine's tokens. I can't remember. Pretty sure it's just velvet hearts, though. And what do you do with these wonderful Valentine's tokens? Well, if you click buy and then event shop, there is a ton of stuff to buy. Uh, like, a ton. I'm trying to get this rose gold hair dye. And I'm also trying to get a heart halo. But that's a lot. So that's why this video came in handy for me. Because I can also get some, a few, very few, tokens. Very few tokens. Valentine's tokens from this. And my hoof, I mean my horse needs her hoofs picked. And 31, that's also a very good way of getting Valentine's tokens. That is the end of the video, though. So, goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.